Apple recently announced that they had been secretly installing Minority Report style tracking technology in all iPhones since the iPhone 4, which was released in 2010. The technology relies on the latest advances in Bluetooth development called Bluetooth Low Energy, which sends out a signal from your phone that communicates with other Bluetooth LE hubs in the near vicinity. Having secretly installed the technology in all iPhones for the last three and a half years, Apple then activated iBeacon, the program that harnesses Bluetooth LE, with the release of iOS 7. All new Android phones also now have the same technology. Bluetooth LE works with iBeacon to allow every store or building that you visit that uses the technology to track and record your presence while bombarding you with personalized ads and messages in a similar vein to that depicted in the Minority Report movie. In addition, every other app on your phone, whether they be operated by companies or government, could also potentially collect the information on your whereabouts. The technology can map your micro location down to mere inches. Remember those mandatory government alerts now being installed on all new smartphones? What information could they be collecting on you via technology such as this? According to experts like Hilmi Osguch, the privacy implications of all this have been completely ignored by Apple. Quote, iBeacon's fundamentally open design means that any mobile app could be designed to pick up a retailer's location broadcast including apps developed by competitors or unscrupulous third-party developers, he says. These apps could use that broadcast information to locate and track a user, possibly without their permission. iBeacon could also sync with other face-scanning apps, such as Nametag, that allow people, in addition to companies and government agencies, to match your face with your internet activity. But what's the big deal when all this is optional, you ask? Well, the problem is that similar technology has proven to not be optional at all. Take the Seattle Wi-Fi mesh network, which had to be deactivated recently after it was revealed that the grid was hooked into the Seattle Police Department and DHS fusion centers. Leaked documents revealed that the Wi-Fi network sucked up information, including historical location data, from users whose cell phones were not even connected to the network. And again, similar to some of the technology we saw in Minority Report, iBeacon threatens to usher in an era of having to give your digital fingerprints in order to access any computer. Wired Magazine reports that iBeacon could be used in conjunction with the iPhone's fingerprint reader to allow the user to access any computer. Of course, that same function could also be used to deny permission for people to access any computer. That is, if we ever see Chinese-style internet licensing for the general public. So, in summary, Apple installed a secret tracking technology on all iPhones since 2010, kept it quiet for three and a half years, and then announced it to the world without a care for the Minority Report-style privacy nightmare that it could foreshadow. But isn't it worth handing over your precise location data and shopping habits to a myriad of different corporations and government agencies? Isn't it worth it for that coupon or that special deal? After all, it's so damned convenient. And yet another little shred of our privacy disappears into the ether. Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash prison planet. I'm Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.